one. Today I will show you this cardigan. It's so simple and it has pockets. Again, I love pockets really. And we will make these pockets while we are making this uh, front sides. We will not uh, sew them into or on our cardigan. We will make it and then later we will make this pocket inside and it's not so hard to make and i also have another video about how to make a pocket but i will show how to make it in this video too you can make it easily and uh, we will start from the back and you can measure yourself around uh, here or around your chest and uh, uh, divide it uh, to do two parts and um, start from here go like that and then uh, make two panels together two front panels uh, we will not make any arm spaces or something like that or any um, uh, I forgot where is this it's um, neck uh, color we will not make any neck uh, opening but it will look like uh, it has everything it could be the easiest uh, cardigan you can make and uh, I use a yarn like that that's uh, 1000 uh, grams of yarn and one of them is 3000 meters long and I use almost half of it. Of course that's a medium size and um, it could be a little less or a little more, I'm not sure about it. But there is, I think there is um, more than 500 grams of yarn. And that's a medium size yarn, size 4 yarn. You can use any medium size yarn you choose or you can use any kind of yarn. If you want, you can use a size 2 yarn because uh, it's so easy to adjust it. You can see it in the video. And um, I use 6 mm and 5 mm crochet hooks. 6 mm for the main uh, body and 5 mm for the ribbing. Uh, I like to make a little tight uh, from the other side, uh, this ribbing, you know. Uh, if you don't want, you can just use uh, one hook you choose. And that's all. I want to show you the back. Uh, front by the way here I use a little gray it's a size 4 yarn again and and you just need maybe 10 or 20 grams of yarn so less yarn you can use any um, leftover yarn uh, in your stash or you can use the same yarn and I will share a uh, more cardigan uh, in my channel Maybe you can see them right now. Just click uh, the um, videos button and you can see this cardigan. Oops, just a second. Yeah, it's too big for me. Uh, you can see this one, it has pockets also. And I made it uh, starting from here and go there. I explain all of this in the video. It's so simple to make too. And uh, bigger size like X, X large, X large or uh, bigger uh, will uh, make this easily without adjusting it. And I have this one uh with diamond stitch it's uh, for spring like that 
you can make it with long sleeve and you can see them on my instagram address sirin's crochet and pinterest address uh, and also my website it's all sirin's crochet uh, that's all uh, if you are ready please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start <music> Start with a slip knot and make 60 chains. Um, think this like um, this part will be the back side of our uh, cardigan. So you can measure around yourself and divide it uh, too, but don't measure yourself too tight, of course. And make the chains like that. 60 chains will be uh, work for me, uh, but you can make it bigger. It's so easy to adjust it. Just make the chains uh, which can uh, close your back. Then wait for me. I complete chains and yarn over, turn back, insert into this third stitch here, make a half double crochet. Insert into the next one, make a half double crochet. And keep making half double crochets. At the end of the uh, row, you will have totally 59 half doubles with these two chains. Of course, uh, if you are uh, using my uh, numbers, complete half double crochet, see you. I'll complete first row, chain one, turn. Insert into this first stitch, make a half double crochet, and starting from here, make half double crochets. Keep going, see you at the end. That's 58 and 59 into this second chain. Chain one, turn, and starting from here, I will make 59 double, uh, sorry, half double crochets for totally 60 rows. Um, don't count this chain one as a half double crochet or something like that. So when you complete uh, this row, you will make your last single crochet here. Last one will be here. Then chain one, turn again. And, and from this side, your last half double crochet uh, will be in this stitch. Don't make anything here. Keep making like that for 60 um, rows. If you want to make it bigger, of course, you can make it longer as you like. And uh, see you when you complete it. I complete the back panel like that. And now we will uh, start to make the front panels. I count here and that's the 13th stitch. Put a stitch marker here. This will be our only um, empty stitch. We will, we will use uh, 29 stitches here first and make it for um, same 60 uh, rows. And then we will start from here, make 29 a half double crochet and make this side two. 
I will show you how to make it. Chain one and start to make half double crochets. Wait for me here. I made 29 half double crochets. Don't put anything here. Chain one, turn and make it again. And I will keep repeating this. Uh, I will make it for uh, starting from here totally 40 rows. Then I will uh, put a pocket opening here pocket space if you don't want to make this pocket if you're a total new beginner and um, don't trust yourself uh, so much about crocheting you can skip here and make it 60 rows or how many rows you made here by the way if you start with a different number just divide it two if you uh, don't have an odd number you can leave two stitches here or you don't have to leave any stitch here you can divide it to uh, for example 30 30 make your 30 half double crochets uh, for six to, six or more rows and then make this 30 Okay, you don't have to leave any stitch here. It's so easy to make. You can make anything. It will look uh, good anyway. And I will keep making this. Um, I made 40 rows and now we will make a opening here. Chain one. Make six half double, uh, half double crochets. It's so early right now. I'm not <laughs> talking quite well. So sorry for this. Um, I made six and I will leave six here. So uh, there will be 17 double crochets I will skip so I will make 17 chains skip 17 make six more uh, half double crochets here if you have more stitches here uh, you can leave eight and eight and just leave here a space your hand could fit and that's okay now I will chain 17 Skip 17. Insert into the 18th stitch and make a half double. Make five more. Chain one, turn back. Make six half double crochets. Six. And into these chains, make 17 of double crochet. I will use these back loops here. It's a little hard to take the first one, always. Yes. And keep making, make 17 half double crochets. Or how many chains you have. 
the 17 and make six half double crochets. And starting from here, I will make 18 more rows. When I finish them, uh, I'll see you again. I complete this side. Now I will start the other one. I will skip here, insert into the next stitch, make a chain, make a half double crochet here, and starting from here, I will make a exactly same thing okay same things we did here just make uh, this side two and then uh, we will make the sleeves i will make 28 chains uh, i complete my chains you can start with a different number you see I will wrap it uh, like that and if it's good and it's okay you can use these numbers of course uh, multiples of two uh, could be good because we will make a uh, ribbing with half double uh, sorry uh, front post and back post double crochets uh, any one number will be good Insert from this first chain, join with a slip stitch. Chain two, do not count this as a, a double crochet. Insert into this first stitch back loop. Make a double crochet this time. Insert into the next one. Make it double. Next one. Make it double. If you want to make here a little tighter than the rest, you can use a smaller hook just for uh, the ribbing part. I will uh, put a double crochet into every stitch, then seal. I changed the crochet hook as I told you, uh, and I'm trying 5mm here just for this part. Insert into this first stitch, chain 2. Now we will make front post and back post double crochets. I will start with the front post. Yarn over, insert your hook around this first double crochet. Grab the yarn, make a front post double. Yarn over, insert your hook this time from back to front. And around the double crochet, give it to back. Make a back post. Make a front post and back post. Front post, back post. Keep going. Make front post and back post double crochets. For the next row, I will start with a slip stitch, join from this first stitch, chain two, and around this first double crochet, make a front post, around the next, make a back post, make a front post, make a back post, and keep making. 
I will make it for two or three more rows. I'm not sure. I will just uh, make a look. Uh, it could be totally five or six rows. I will complete it and tell you. I totally made six rows and I changed my crochet hook again. Chain one, insert into this first loop and make a half double crochet. And starting from here, I will make half double crochets. That's my last half double crochet join from this first stitch. Chain one, turn. And starting from first stitch, I will make half double crochets again. And I will repeat this for totally 10 rows. That's my second row. Uh, if we count this first six, it will be totally 16 row. I'll see you uh, at uh, row 17. I made my rows and now I'll make some increases. Start from the first stitch, make six half double crochets. Into the seventh stitch, make two half double crochets. Make six half double crochet. Into the next stitch, make two half double crochets. And repeat it, uh, I think, two more times. Complete the row. At the end of the row, I have one stitch and make two half double crochets here. Join from the first stitch. Chain one, turn. And put one half double crochet for every stitch you have. And make this four more times. It will be totally five rows without increasing. If you want, uh, you can put a stitch marker here. Just a sec. Put a stitch marker here. And this way, you can start to count from here and uh, make it totally five rows. Uh, I'll see when you finish it. I made five rows as you see one, two, three, four, and five. Make seven half double crochet this time. Just sit. Sit. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Six and seven. Let me come one more time. Yes. Into the eighth stitch, make two. Again, seven half double crochets. Into the next stitch, make two. And make it two more times. For this last stitch, put two half double crochet, that's eight stitch. Join me in a slip stitch, chain one and turn. And now we will repeat here. Make five rows without uh, increasing. 
put a stitch marker here again and uh, count uh, start to count from here make it five rows then I'll see you I'm at the end of the five row again five rows again and now I will make increases make um, eight half double crochets into this next stitch put two half double make eight half double crochets and put two and I will complete this row like that then I will make five rows without increasing again just complete this total six rows uh, then I'll see you and when you complete these five rows I will make one more increase this time uh, I will make four increases I will just make two so I will make 19 uh, half double crochets because I have 40 stitches right now that's 19 and into the 20th uh, stitch make two and repeat this one more time into this last stitch make two half double crochet and starting from here I will not make any increases if you want you can make four increases here for this row uh, then if you want to make any increases if it's tight for you uh, you can make five more rows then make one more increase uh, and starting from here uh, when I complete this row with increase I will make 13 more rows it will be totally 48 rows for me uh, again if you want you can make it longer but don't forget we didn't make any uh, shoulder opening for the front or uh, back side it will fall a little into your shoulders too so don't make these uh, sleeves too long uh, you can just um, wear it and see I can show you maybe I made one of them and I'm not sure if you can see it, but I leave one of them like that. Okay, don't make it like that. Leave it here. Maybe you could see better with this way. Leave a little opening here. Okay. Now it's sewing time. I will start from here or here. Uh, I put some stitch markers as you see. Uh, I will not join this part. I will join the um, sleeves here. Just put your sleeve here and put a stitch marker it's a finishing point when you reach here you will start to uh, sew this uh, sleeve and make the same thing for this side too and uh, I'm at the wrong side of my work I 
can start from here. I will take these two. join you can use the hook for this joining you can join all of them with uh, single crochets or slip stitches or if you know a better way <laughs> you can use it I will keep attaching like that when you reach here wait for me now I'm here and I will attach one of these sleeves you see here that's my joining point I will put it like that it will be under arm And that's the wrong side of my sleeves also. Insert from here and here. Take one part from both sides. If you need, you can use some pins here. I will just turn around like that and uh, cut the yarn from here and hide these tails. I think you can make it by yourself from now on and i will make the same things uh, to the other uh, side then i'll see you i complete all the joining now we will make the uh, ribbing i will start from this back side you can see there is my arms I will start from here. I will not count my stitch, just insert into one place. Grab the yarn. That's the front side of our work. Chain two. Insert in the same place. Make a double crochet into the next make a double crochet next make a double crochet and a double crochet keep making just put one double crochet every stitch you have i'll see you in this corner that's my last stitch i will make a double crochet chain one and double crochet in the same place you can see there's a line here and a line here too between these two lines there's two rows and for these two rows i will make totally three double crochets i will put the first one here one there and one more here and I have two lines again 
I can show you like that. If you want, you can put the first one here. Second here. And third here. Then again, first one here. Second here. Third here. One. Or you can make it like that. One, two, three. It's up to you. Just put uh, three double crochets here. One, two, Three. Now next three. One, two, three. Next one, two, sorry, three. Okay, I will keep uh, putting double crochets. If you think it's too much, time to time you can skip one or two. But if you skip uh, some stitches from this side, skip from the other side too. Just try to make this and the, uh, opposite side equal, opposite side equal same as you can. Okay, I will keep making see you between these two lines. I'm making my third double crochet, and here I only have one stitch actually but I could put one two three double crochets here one two three and starting from here make the same thing put um three double crochets one two Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, and make the other corner with the same way. I see where we start. At the end of the row. I will join from the first stitch with a slip stitch, chain two, and now we will make front post and back post double crochets again. I will start with a front post and make a back post. A front post and a back post. If you want, you can change your crochet hook here. I'm not sure about it. If you want, you can make. Sorry. I will keep making front post and back post double crochets as you uh, at the corner. For the corner, uh, I wanted to finish with front post double crochet, but I have one stitch left here. What will we make? I will insert between this front post and this double crochet here and make a half double crochet and make front post double crochet. For the next row, we will put a front post back post for this uh, half double crochet and one more front post here 
and for this chain space I will make a half double crochet chain one half double crochet you can make one or two chains it's up to you and again I will start with front post make back post front post back post keep going like that make the next corner uh, with the same way I see you at the end of the row again I reach here uh, I have two stitches left that's a front loop and I want to finish with back loop because there is one more front loop I can take this two together like that and join I can make this or I can make it like I do here make a back post make a half double crochet here and make one more back post or I can make it like that make a back post make a front post and for only this time only for here use this two chains and make a back post join with a slip stitch from the first stitch and starting from here we will not use this chain tools as a stitch and make the same thing make front post and back post double crochets I see at the corner if you remember we made a half double crochet here now I will make a back post double crochet around it and make a front post double crochet and I have one more half double crochet here make a back post double crochet into this one chain space make a half double chain one half double this time we finish with back post double crochet so we will start with back post sorry I said back post but I'm making front post make a back post and a front post back post front post I keep making like that from now on I will make it for a few more rows I'm not sure how many rows I will make uh, you know I will make it and if I like it I will finish it there and for the next row we will make front post back post front post then a half double crochet one chain half double crochet and we finish we, we will finish with front post here so we will start with front post for the next row we will finish with back post start with back post don't forget to put a half double crochet a chain a half double crochet uh, so make it as long as long as you want uh, then uh, see you I made totally six rows and I will join from here chain one cut this yarn and hide this tail okay I will show you how to make this pocket but he won't let me so I want to show you him 
can I make this cut a pocket? No? No? I love you. You are so sweet. I will love him a little bit and um, turn back. I made one of the pockets with different color. I used gray. You can choose your own color or you can make this. Uh, you can use the same color, of course. Uh, now I will show you how to make it. Actually, I have a video about it, but I want to uh, show you again. I'm at the right side of my work and I'm uh, holding this um, uh, upside uh, down. I will insert from here. That's my last half double crochet. I will insert here. Grab the yarn. Make a chain. And starting from the first stitch, make half double crochets. And that's 17. That's my um, first double crochet. Insert from here. Grab the yarn, make a slip stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Starting from the first stitch, make 17 half double crochets. That's 17. Let me count. Yeah. And you see, I have. Uh, chains here that's back loop and that's front loop we used the back loops of the chains if you remember now we will use this front loops That's 17. Insert from the first stitch. Chain one and turn. We will always turn our work like we did for the sleeves. Starting from here, we will make our 34 uh, half double crochets when we complete. Join from here, chain one, turn and make it again. I will make it for uh, 14 rows. Count it like that. Okay, I count from here, not from here. If you count from here, it will be 13 and 14. Uh, if you want, you can make it longer, of course. Um, I will complete it and then I'll show you how to close it. I complete the 14 rows, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 10, 12, 14. I made a chain here. Now I will insert into this stitch and this one too. Grab the yarn. Make a slip stitch. Insert here and here. Sorry. Make a 
make a slip stitch slip stitch and keep joining and that's the last one make a chain and that's it one last thing you are not able to make this of course but I think it will look better with this and I will use a smaller hook insert from here grab the yarn pull through insert into the first uh, stitch if I could <laughs> grab the yarn pull through insert into the next one grab pull through and keep going and making slip stitches and uh, I made the last one I will make one more here and cut this yarn take it inside and hide it and that's it uh, I hope you like this if you like please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Silence Crochet is my Instagram, Pinterest and website address you can reach me any of them. And that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.